Teamwork Chat provides you with all of the tools necessary to quickly communicate with your team. You can organize your conversations with teammates into channels to help keep your team on track, and you can easily integrate your chat channels with Teamwork projects to optimize your team's workflow. We can use Teamwork Chat in our web browser, or alternatively, we can also use the Teamwork Chat desktop client. So here we are in the web client of Teamwork Chat, and if we just go up here to the top left and select the drop down next to the Teamwork Chat logo, you can see that we can quickly access Teamwork Desk or Teamwork Projects. Below this on the left hand side, we can see all of our conversations and channels. So currently they're ordered by activity, so when the last message was posted. So you can see here I have a private conversation with Francis. And below this we have our company newsletter A channel. And you'll notice that this channel has a Teamwork Projects logo next to it. So this means that this channel is one that's specifically dedicated to a project. And we can easily just click into any of these channels or conversations. So you can see now I'm in the company newsletter A channel. We can easily use this search function here to filter through our channels. So now I'm searching for the word company, so we're only getting company channels here. Over here we can get all of our channels listed alphabetically. And then we can also search through all of our users here. So here we can see all of the users for our teamwork video company. However, if we minimize this, we can select any external companies also. So let's say if I click on gigawatts, now we can see all of the users in the gigawatts company. So I'll just quickly go back to our teamwork video company. And if we click on any of these users here, we can easily quickly start a conversation with that user. If we wanted to create a channel or a conversation with a number of users, we can easily do that by selecting the drop down here, where you can see that we can create conversations, we can create channels, and we can browse channels. So if we want to create a conversation, we can just type our message in here, and any users that we want in our conversation, we just need to select at that username. So if we want to select all users, we can just select at all here, or we can put in our specific users. So let's say that I want Adrian and Vic. And we can also write whatever message we want here. You can see here over on the left hand side, we can attach any files if we want to. And then over here, we can send our message. And that's how easy it is to start a conversation in Teamwork Chat. Now let's go back to our drop down here and look at creating a new channel. So in the create channel window here, we need to give our channel a title. We can also add a description for our channel if we want to. We can choose to link this channel to an existing project in Teamwork Projects. We can select which users we want to have access to this channel. So let's say Adrian, Alan, and Alder. And we can easily remove any of these users by selecting the X icon next to their name here. If we want to make this channel a default channel, we can easily do that here. So a default channel is one that automatically adds new users to the channel. And we can also update our channel visibility. So this can be private or public. So I'll just make this channel public so anyone can join the channel if they want to. Then once we're happy, we just select create. And there we go, now our new channel has been added. As well as being able to create channels, we can also browse through our channels. So again, in the drop down here, just select browse channels. So here we can see all the channels that we're a part of, as well as being able to see any public channels that we're not currently in. So we can see the channels here. We can search through our channels. We're unable to leave any channels that we've created or any project channels. However, any open public channels allow you to easily join or leave as you like. So let's say that I want to join the design channel here. And now I'm part of that channel. We can easily go to any of these channels here by just selecting the channel. So now we're in the design channel and you can see over on the right hand side, we have a full list of all of the members in that channel. If we're an administrator, we can easily remove anyone from the channel by selecting the X icon here next to their name. And over on the top right, we can access our channel settings. So we can choose to add more users to the channel. We can edit our channel and we can customize our notification settings for the channel. So we can choose to be notified for all messages. We can choose to be notified for all mentions. So this is mentions of you specifically, mentions for everyone and mentions for those that are online. Alternatively, we can choose to only have our specific mentions and we can disable notifications altogether. Again, here we can quickly leave a channel if we want to. And if we're an administrator, we can also delete a channel. Up at the top here, you can see that we can search through our conversation. So all we have to do is put in our keyword. And now we can see all of the messages containing that keyword. So here we can choose to sort by date or by relevance. Over to the left, you can see that we can filter our search here. So we can choose to see only messages with attachments. And we can apply or reset these filters here. And down here at the bottom, you can search for just this channel or we can choose to search through all of our conversations. And then once we've found the message that we're looking for, we can just select that message and be taken to that channel. 
as well as being able to customize your channel settings, you can also customize your settings at a site level down here at the bottom left. So in the profile tab here, we can update our details. So we can update our avatar here. We can update our name and our handle. So that's the name used when people are mentioning you. We can add our mobile and social media details here. And any changes, we can just save them here. And now looking at the preferences tab, again, we can customize our notification preferences here and we can choose whether or not we want to hear notification sounds and receive email notifications. Down here, we can customize our time format for 24 hour or 12 hour. And if we look at the companies tab here, we can choose which external companies from Teamwork projects we want to include in our Teamwork chat installation. Moving on now to the users tab, where we can easily invite any users into Teamwork chat. So all we have to do is add their name here and email address here. We can also use this window to make a user an administrator, or indeed we can delete the user from our Teamwork chat installation. Looking at the about section now, where we can see the version of chat that we're on, and we can give feedback or get support here. If we want to log out, we can easily do that here. And if we want to return back to our normal Teamwork chat window, just select the X icon up here. So now that we've looked at our interface, how to create channels and conversations, and how to use your settings, Let's look at actually adding a message into a channel. All we need to do is be in that channel. So here I'm in the design channel. And then down here, we can just type our message. So here in my message, I'm directly mentioning Victor here. Again, we can easily attach a file here if we want to. And if we're happy, we can just send our message. If we hover over a message here, so now I'm hovering over Victor Barry's message, you can see that over on the right hand side, we can quickly use a reaction for this message. So we have several options here. So let's say I'm going to go with a thumbs up. And now you can see down here that our thumbs up has been added. And we can also hover over any other reaction to see the people who reacted to that. And if we click the one more option here, we can view all of our reactions in this window. Looking back at our right hand side message menu, we can also easily add a quote here. So you can see now down in our message box that we've added the quote. So we can now add our own message to this quote and then send our message. Looking back at our menu again here, we can also get a link for this message. So if we just click this, it will automatically be copied to our clipboard. If we select this options drop down here on the right hand side, you can see that we can create a task from this message, or indeed we can delete this message entirely if we're an administrator. So let's say that I want to create a task here. So in the create teamwork projects task window, we can add our project here. So I'll just go with company newsletter A. Next up, we can select our task list. So I'll go with graphics, photos, and images. Now we need to name our task. So below here, you can see that we can add a task description and the content of the message that we're adding the task from has already been added into our description. Over here, we can assign the task to a particular user or set of users. So we just need to select the drop down here. And let's say that I want Adrian and Alan to do this. We also have our progress and time tab here. So we can add our estimated time in hours and in minutes. And we can also add priority here. Once we're happy, just select create task. And our task has been added into Teamwork projects. And that's it. That's everything you need to know to get started with Teamwork Chat.